Hello, I'm George Malin, the Managing Editor of IoT Now, and I'm delighted to be joined by Bigek Lim, the Head of Business Line Digital Offering at GearSeeker and Devriant Mobile Security. We're going to be discussing how in-factory profile provisioning, IFPP, is set to transform the manufacturing and operation of connected devices. Hi, Bigek. Thanks for joining us. Could we start with a definition of IFPP? Hi, um, George. Yes, of course, um, IFPP or in-factory profile provisioning is actually a process that enables a eSIM profile to be securely downloaded and installed in a device. And here with devices, we are actually talking about consumer electronics such as a smartphone, a smartwatch, but also of course, beyond that, IoT devices as well as vehicles. And all this is done in during the manufacturing phase in a factory. So that's what is different about IFPP compared to any other eSIM profile download. And here with this process, it enables actually immediate connectivity because the, when the device leaves the factory, it is already installed with an operational profile potentially or even a bootstrap profile. And this eliminates any needs for physical SIM card pre, uh, during factory pre-insertion or even post-purchase configuration that is uh, needed to be done in order to get the profile up and running. And as we see, this is actually a game changer, especially for the OEM device maker, because it helps to streamline logistic, it improves the user experience as the devices are all connected right out of the box. And here we actually call it bond connected. And maybe one last thing about IFPP. This process is actually being standardized at the GSMA and is listed under what the specification is known as SGP.42. The standardization process is still ongoing and is anticipated to be finalized soon. Despite that this is not yet fully available, we are already ahead of this curve with our solutions being deployed and here, the solution that we have in-house that is conforming to IFPP is actually known as the Aeon 360 in-factory eSIM solution. Great. Um, you mentioned some of the benefits, um, particularly uh, um, for IoT organizations. Um, what are the key benefits of IFPP for the OEMs? As we see it, as we said, that this is actually addressing it right in the factory itself, right? During the manufacturing process, there's a, a few benef key benefits that we see that is really um, beneficial for the OEMs. First off, of course, is uh, always a big thought in everybody's mind, cost. It helps to reduce the operational cost because you remove the need for some sort of a manual SIM insertion or as a I already shortly mentioned the post sales uh, configurations. And besides that, what is interesting to note is that this also facilitates a faster to time to market um, time scale. Because if the profiles are already loaded during productions, the device are connectivity ready. So once the user or consumer receive it, this is already ready to go. It helps to delay, uh, reduce delay and of course speed up the whole process of the deployment. And another uh, uh, benefits that we see is it helps to simplify the logistic because you only need one single SKU of devices during the build. And you just need to insert them with different type of uh, profile during the manufacturing process. This helps to reduce complexity a lot, which actually also feed into the cost aspect. And last but not least, we see that this helps to improve the user experience while still keeping in, um, in compliance to the high security that is anyway uh, needed around this whole solutions. And here we see that this eliminates as well the need for the factory or the production size to achieve the relevant um, certification that is demanded, not compromising on the security because it leverages on what is already in place in the end-to-end -end communication. Mm -hmm. So um, could you share some of the key use cases for IFPP? So today, there's actually, there's a lot of use cases that you can thought of, and it actually can address in most um, different type of uh, market uh, demands. 
But what we have seen already in the consumer electronics, this is uh, actually being used. And we have already deployed this and is already in uh, usage since with a leading, let's say, a smartphone manufacturer where millions of profile has already been uh, deployed and securely installed through this mechanism. But in parallel, we are also in discussions with various other uh, players in IoT sector, especially when talking about smart metering, automotive, transport and logistic, and of course, healthcare and industrial IoT, where we see that this will also benefit uh, with the concept of IFPP. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so how exactly does IFPP lead to cost savings for businesses? Mm -hmm. So as we briefly touch on, right, um, IFPP helps to digitalize the whole um, SIM provisioning process because if you reduce the need for manual SIM insertions and configuration, this helps to streamline the production uh, process itself. More importantly, this also reduce and potentially even remove the whole human error factor. Because if you have everything automized, this will help to minimize mistakes that could um, occur with manual handling. And of course, with this streamlined production, what it helps to do is also because everything is digitalized, scalability is maybe much, um, I wouldn't say very easy, but of course, everything is relative speaking, right? I would say that relatively speaking, this will help to uh, the business to scale up faster without, in, um, with, uh, without incurring um, proportional increases in operational costs because, you know, to scale up um, machineries is much faster and easier as compared to scaling up more bodies needed for manual SIM insertion. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so we've talked about the cost savings, but that's one side of the coin. The other side is operational efficiency. How does IFPP enhance operational efficiency? So um, as devices are activated the moment that they are power on, since this, uh, the eSIM profile is already preloaded, this significantly helps to reduce the time spent on post uh, sales, let's say, network configuration. Another aspect how it can um, enhance operational efficiency is with the simplified uh, logistics setup, because um, this will reduce the need of uh, multiple regional variants that is, uh, that is needed because the profiles are already preloaded making global deployment much more easier and seamless. And finally, I think this I also briefly touched on in earlier points is that um, the time to market with, you know, with such digi digitalized uh, deployment, it helps to make uh, faster deployment, meaning that company can also help to respond to the market in a much more timely and efficient manner, enhancing, of course, their competitiveness. Mm -hmm. So looking ahead, how do you see the future of IFPP evolving and what will its impact on business be? Mm -hmm. So as more and more devices get connected, as well as the demand that more and more devices are really getting connected, we see that uh, IFPP actually becomes a very uh, important enabler for businesses across the various industry. With the rise of IoT smart devices, this is where we see IFPP scalable, secure and flexible architecture will help to open the door, facilitate the path to integrate new applications, especially in sectors like what we are seeing booming, right? Uh, smart cities, connected agriculture, and of course, uh, so, uh, automated driving. So the ability to integrate seamless connectivity into the manufacturing process is definitely helping uh, to meet the demand and the need for efficient deployment and the management of all these devices. Mm -hmm. Great, so um, you've touched on a few examples already, but in what scenarios might IFPP be most valuable? Mm -hmm. So I've already jumped the gun and mentioned that right at the beginning. So there are actually two scenarios where IFPP is really uh, very valuable. So of course, one being the uh, bootstrap connectivity. So as uh, most of you might be familiar, bootstrap enables you to um, have uh, initial connectivity, especially in the context of where Wi-Fi connections are not available. So if bootstrap connectivity is facilitated in the devices right up front, as mentioned, the device will have connections right out of the box and therefore it allows it um, 
for quick software updates and diagnostic checks uh, before the user goes into uh, selections of their final, let's say, um, operational profile that they have selected with their preferred MNO. Then, of course, the other being what we call final profile loading or operational profile loading. So these are for devices that once they leave the factory should already have the, pro, uh, the connectivity all set up and ready because this is where maybe a device has a limited battery life or it's just not possible to get into any sorts of connectivity in order to download a final profile. So this is where it benefits. And some of uh, such use cases we see in demand of such a scenario is a smart meters or tracking system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a smart labor, for example. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so how does IFPP fit in with remote SIM provisioning RSP technology? Okay. IFPP actually is very complementary to the remote SIM provisioning or RSP, because in fact, IFPP is built on top of the RSP. So therefore it's leveraging all the security and all the interoperability that comes with RSP. And in this context, I think I also mentioned right at the beginning, uh, IFPP is currently being standardized in GSMA, and given that it is built on top of RSP, it is of course uh, adhering to all the standards and requirements coming with our, uh, GSMA. And that also means that you know all the infrastructure, be it the profile supplier, the DP plus that is hosting the profile, etc., they are all interoperable because it's built on top of that, and it offers therefore a universal point. Uh, to manage profile provisioning, so which enables that both OEM and MNO has the flexibility and scalability that they will need to get uh, deep into in order to support various devices, uh, deployment launches, as well as service uh, enhancement. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so just one final question. Um, when will IFPP be available? So GND L1360 in factory eSIM solution, which is our answer to the IFPP uh, solution, is already available. And also we have deployed it uh, with a key leading uh, smartphone manufacturer. We have already deployed and not deployed, we have already delivered um, multiple millions of profile using this, this system. And of course, we are in the phase of expanding this into other regions, other industry use cases, such as uh, smart metering. So of course, any interested businesses who is looking to leverage this technology, feel free to reach out to us because we, are, we have already have it fully deployed and we are definitely equipped to provide immediate support and customization in order to fit into your production timelines and deployment needs. Thanks, Biget. It's been a pleasure to talk to you and learn more about this transformative uh, technology, which I can see being applied to so many different use cases across IoT. Thanks again. Thank you, George.